human sin. And so this is what I hear when I, when I hear Doug or others say, uh, be public and be political, but don't be partisan. We were using that language at lunch today. I, I know this is a politically explosive thing. You touch homosexuality or you, you touch whatever is current, then, then the 700 uh, comments are going to show up. So that, that was my approach, and I'm going to use it every time I feel like it might get some traction. I mean, I could do it every day because something horrific is happening every day on this planet. Something horrific. And I could find it on the Internet. At this moment, probably 500 people are screaming their lungs out right now somewhere on the planet because something horrific happening corporately in their lives. And it won't get any news attention because it's in a poor place out of the way. So I could write this every day. So a pastoral question is, when do you say it? And uh, I just felt like, hmm. This is strange. I saw the tornado. It's in my backyard. It's a red-hot issue. It's biblically crystal clear. And therefore, yep, this is a good time to say. Thank you. John, would you close us in prayer? Father, as crystal clear as some things are, we agree with uh, Marvin that... Lots of things aren't. So we should keep our mouths shut on lots of things and be tentative about lots of things. But, oh God, grant that we who have eyes to see your word would speak clearly where the word is clear. And it's clear perhaps in many more places than we are willing to admit. Lord, make us humbly bold. Make us willing to say, thus saith the Lord, and be called arrogant rather than incessantly talking about our experience and being called humble. God, work that deep in this group of people, I pray. Bring us back together tonight to hear some of the best news in all the world and anoint Sam for that, I pray. In Jesus' name.